Hey everyone, so today I am going to make a shaker for my mini planner. Um, you basically just follow the same directions for any size or uh, what you want to do. So this is what it looks like. Um, this is my very first one that I made, pretty plain and simple. Um, I was new at it, nervous. You shake it and it makes noises and it's all pretty. Um, you can also do designs, you just cut around it, um, whatever you like. I mean, the possibilities are endless. So this is my fuse tool, a photo fuse tool. It's from Project Life. Um, I got it at Michael's, I believe, for like $15. I used the half off coupon. This is the packaging that comes with another, um, another tip. That one fuses it and cuts it. <clears throat> and the one that's on it, um, that one fuses it. And you just screw it on and off. Um, super simple. So to start out, um, you just want to measure it, and I'm just doing this. It's about a little over four and a half, and then by seven, so that made it super easy. So I'm just getting out some paper that I got sent to me from a wonderful friend from Ugly Duck. And I'm just using my machine to cut it because I'm horrible at cutting lines straight. Um, and you want to leave um, a little room because you need to fuse everything. Um, and that means uh, when you basically stick the plastic together. Um, so yeah, super easy. And then just turn it and cut the other direction. And sorry if I sound all like crappy um i'm kind of getting over a cold um i'm still pretty like not feeling good but i need to get back into things it's spring break we've been busy i've been feeling like crap anyways so if you see on the side it's about a half inch that you're going to cut off from the paper because you want to um have that for the um <clears throat> to clip into your planner and you don't want to have the little pieces um, of your shaker fall out so you want to kind of fuse that together and you just cut it off. I, I measured it and it's about a half inch and it works perfect. Um, you can do whatever size you feel is right or looks good for you. And these are the sheet protectors that I use. Um, I'm going to try with laminating sheets. I got these at Walmart. It comes with 20. Um, it, I think it was like a few dollars. So then you just open it up and you insert the paper. And then you leave enough room with the next piece, like I said, so you can fuse it in the middle. So after you get that situated, um, I'm using a glass cutting board. I got it from the dollar store, super cheap, because if you use your um, cutting mat, like it burns it and, well not burns it, it melts it so it leaves like marks. So if you don't mind that, feel free to use your cutting mat, but um, I don't like when it's all like melted and bumpy and stuff. And this ruler comes with this tool. It's super awesome because it keeps your line nice and straight if you, because like when you um, fuse it it's like melting plastic so it's super slippery so this um, uh, ruler is awesome and it helps a lot so you just want to line it up and you you don't have to push hard if you push hard you're kind of gonna like separate it and it's not gonna fuse you just lightly go and it rolls um, it rolls along very nicely um, and you just want to do both sides because you're gonna cut that that side off because that's the part that clips into your planner and then you can kind of get the basic image. Um, like when I cut the sides off, then you'll really see the shaker.
And you just want to make sure, you know, I probably should have left a little bit more room just to make sure it was nice and secure. Um, but you just want to leave a little room so it um, fuses nice and good and it doesn't rip. And yeah, you just slide it out and decorate it or do whatever you like. You don't even have to decorate it. Um, I decorated mine. Uh, I used some die cuts that I got from the Planner Society, some ribbon, paper punches. I mean, just basically whatever you'd like. Um, you can do stickers. Like I said, nothing at all. So you just want to slide it back in and then you add your beads and your sequins or whatever you want in there to shake. That first one I did with the, um, <clears throat> with the coffee, I cut out little coffee beans. Um, I printed them out and then, uh, added them in there. That one is actually from Ugly Duck Planning. There's a few dashboards on there that I absolutely love. Um, I'm going to do a different one. It's kind of like boho theme um, with feathers and a girl. Really, really pretty. So, like I said, um, these sequins I got from a swap and I love them. They're pastel, but you can find them like in a craft section um, at the dollar store, Walmart, Michaels. I mean, anywhere, basically super cheap and they really, um, they're nice. They shake and everything. And then I'm going to add the beads that I got at my local Dollar Tree. Um, they had a bunch of colors, so I grabbed um, some in each color. So yeah, just pour them in um, however much you like. Um, you can kind of shake it and hear it or um, just look at it. You know, I, I don't like too many. <clears throat> um, sometimes I like it with a lot, but I just like, you know, the little bit of shake and a little bit of decoration. I think it looks really nice. Okay, and then you want to get back out your cutting board or whatever you're using um, and you want to hold it down and I was going to try and do this, but I could feel it melting and like I said, it gets slippery so I didn't want to ruin it. So I grabbed out the metal ruler that came with it and then I just ran it across a few times and that was about it. So now that that is all fused together, I am just using my um, planner punch. I'm going to mark it so I know because that's for a classic size. So if you just um, mark where you want to do it, then you just line it up in the punches inside. And uh, you have to be really careful because it likes to get stuck because you're only supposed to use like three pieces of paper. But I never do. I use, I punch my laminator paper. I punch like anything and you just kind of have to like clean it out um and slide it in there and you punch it and with this one you had to or you have to yeah okay i had to cut the little slits but usually it just pops right out <clears throat> which is nice but this one was a little different i'm not sure what happened maybe the paper was thicker but like i said it's came out before um so yeah you just cut the little slit if it doesn't cut all the way not a problem at all and it looks super awesome
So I'm just popping it in my planner so you can see what it looks like all finished. You can adjust the size to whatever you want. Um, you just measure it out and leave that half inch or whatever you feel is comfortable for the um, planner punch to go in and you shake it and it looks great. I'm so super happy. I hope you enjoy. Any questions, please leave me a comment down below. Bye.